Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is about a backdoored Pokemon Go app. Since it's Friday, I figured I'd keep today's story light and fun by covering two of my interests, video gaming and security. And by the way, speaking of fun Fridays, today is also Take Your Dog to Work Day here at WatchGuard. That's my co-host here. In any case, today Proofpoint released a blog post talking about how they found a backdoored Android app on the underground. Now, if you're not a gamer, you may not have heard of the new Pokemon Go app, which is basically the first mobile game that Nintendo's released for Android and iOS devices. And this game, by the way, is not available everywhere in the world, but where it is available, it's already become very, very popular. It actually has some AR or alternate reality uh, capabilities where you can actually find these Pokemon using your cameras in, in real environments. In either case, whether or not you're a gamer, Pokemon is very, very popular, so I suspect this app will become very, very popular among gamers out there. Anyways, Proofpoint found a version of the APK, the installer for Pokemon Go, that had a, a bad guy add a malicious rat or remote access Trojan to it. In fact, it seems to be the very popular Droid Jack, which is sometimes called Sandro Rat, which is a well-known uh, Android remote access Trojan that's existed for a while, but it's been attached to this uh, kind of malicious version of this APK installer for Pokemon Go. Long story short, if you get this this particular version of Pokemon Go, a bad guy can have full access to your Android device. Now this particular malicious APK is not on Google Play. If you go to Google Play to get this app, you get the real version. You have to be downloading this app from some third party source, and you also have to have your Android device configured to sideload applications, which basically allows you to uh, install APK files from sources other than Google Play. Now, why might you do this? Well, if you live in a region where this app hasn't been released yet, it's popular enough that some people might consider sideloading it. So I just thought it was a very interesting story, and it really shows that bad guys are smart. Pokemon Go is probably going to be a very popular application, so it's a good way for these bad guys to get new victims. So if you're an Android user, what should you do about this? Well, it's really quite simple. I recommend you avoid getting applications from unsanctioned sources. Maybe stick with Google Play official applications. That said, if you're a power user, there is sometimes benefit to sideloading applications, but realize there's a lot of dangers there. If you are going to sideload this application, you might want to check the, the hash or the checksum associated with the real Pokemon Go versus this particular malicious one. In any case, I don't recommend uh, sideloading Pokemon Go right now, even if you're in a region that you want to play it. So that's it for today's fun story. Have a great weekend, and thanks for watching. You were a good girl. Good girl.